Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Welcome to the next lesson in our bird series. Today we'll paint a California quail. My model for this painting is a photo of a quail on my backyard fence. We'll use three brushes, six paints, and four techniques. Be sure to check below for useful information and links. I have my paints all set up, ready to go. Let's do some watercolor. Grab your spray bottle with your pans of paint here. Put some water on your palette. Start with loading your round with pointed tip brush using the ochre here and today is we'll be doing the quail bird which is a very interesting bird and in this composition the bird is going to be sitting on a fence and there's a tree that's will be coming off from the side so I'm going water, to water my brush down a little bit and do a light sketch, starting with the bird. Now the quail, to me, when I look at it, has a pear shape. So that might help you create the shape of the bird you need is to think of a pear and the head is looking off to the side so here's the outline of the quail the head is to the side like so and then here's the line for the fence And then I'm roughly putting in the feet. You can see part of the feet hang out over the fence, like so. So now th this fence is will be and off-white color so I pull some of the paint that you already have there down below need a little more Let's add some of the ochre going on this side Adding a touch of the ochre. Just 
creating a slight wash on the bottom here. Like so. Now pick up your mop brush and load your brush with ultramarine blue. And I'm starting at the top working my way down and then when I come to where the bird is I'm being careful not to get it too wet there so that I will still see my lines. And sometimes the water will pool around the tape and you can just catch it by going back and spreading it. Well, that's a little bright, but I'm not too worried about it. It's Keep spreading it. And one thing with watercolor paper is you can re wet it and reactivate it. And on the other side of the quail, now this is a little dark, so I'm just going to dab it like there's maybe little faint clouds there. Like so. Getting that a little dry. Okay. Now take your round with pointed tip brush. and load it with sap green. And off to the side, there will be a leafy tree. So um, we'll be making some leaf, leafy leaves for the tree off to the side here. And I'm starting about an inch above the fence. And as I go up, there's more of the leafy leaves. And it will go over the bird, over the bird's head. So that's about, about right there. Just kind of making the impression of the leaf, not drawing every detail of that leaf. Like so. Now, Put your brush down and time to dry.
Now I see right here the green didn't go all the way to the edge and I want that. So I'm taking, you take your round with pointed tip brush and just adding a little more paint there. Load your brush with sap and I will want a darker green. So add some burnt sienna to that mixture and that will create a darker green. Just going through a little bit random starting at the bottom going to the top adding that second layer of green. Oh, that's too much, too much umber. Spread that color around. All right. Now I'm going to come down to the fence and you'll see the tree is over the bird and it's casting a shadow on the fence. So take some of your Burnt sienna, burnt umber, and mix some. And we're going to make the shadows caused by the tree here. Again, if it's too dark, you can dab it and add some water to your brush. There's just a couple of the shadows that it creates on the fence, like that. Okay, now let's start working on the quail. The quail has some gray and browns. So we're going to start with a lighter color with the browns by loading your brush with the ochre first. And the lighter colors are on the bottom part of the bird. So this is going to be kind of the underglaze. Then add some burnt sienna, which would be the next color, and add somewhere you put the ochre, and if it runs, that's okay. I like that kind of, that effect, and I want it in there. Adding a little water to my brush. Pull that line up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm now load your round with pointed tip brush with burnt sienna and the ultramarine blue. And that's gonna make a gray. I need to get that yellow out of my palette. I want that spot there.
Oops, there's alt frame. I can tell that already that's too blue, so a little bit more of that. Root umber. There you go. Now just on the quail, there's a white mark and it swings down. So you want to swing down and go like that. And spread that color. And connect from here. Now there is some dark spots below here. So you can put some of those in there. And right here, there is a shadow cast. So I'm going to add more of that mixture of burnt umber and the blue. Now below here, the quail has a tail, and so, and it's dark, so you need to make more of the mixture of the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber. And it's right below. And I'm leaving a space where I will later on will be painting in the feet. Now coming back up to the head, there is that line here. Still seems a little bit more. Now, the part up here, the top of the head, is, will be lighter. So, and it's more of a brown color. So, stop and clean your brush. And load it with the burnt umber. And we're going up through the head. Now there is another white line. That's created on top here. Like so. 
and then bring the down, brown down to this area. Leave a white spot for the, the eye. And then we're going to bring it down to the beak. Like so. Now the quail has a feather sticking out the top, so we need to add that, and it's a, a darker color, so take some of the mixture you have here of the burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And it it's, loops out and comes back a little bit of a teardrop shape to me. Now I might want to go in there and darken certain areas and that's okay. But I think first I want to do another dry. Another session with the hair dryer. Pick up your round with pointed tip brush. Now the tree is casting a shadow on the bird. So this part is a little darker. So I'm taking the burnt umber mixture with ultramarine blue. and making that shadow that the tree. is on the bird. Like so. Now I'm going to the top of the head and making it a little darker. Adding some darkness right here, like so. Now taking, load your round with pointed tip brush with a mixture of the Bird umber and the ultramarine blue. And put some more spots down here and feathers.
that's a little too blue there so I'm just taking some of the umber and add that in there. Okay. So now I'm filling in the gaps here. Now we we want to switch our brushes and pick up your liner and more of the mixture of the burnt umber with the blue. And darken the top here. That's a little too blue. Yeah, it should be right there. Like so. Load your liner with cadmium yellow and Add a little to the beak, just its touch. Okay. Now to do the feet, or load your liner with the burnt umber. So part of his feet are coming over the fence. So you want to put one over the fence. And on the other side, the other one is on the line. And one comes down and onto the side of the fence again. And then put the line straight up, like so. Now the paint is running there. and. I, it's okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now the, the fence line here with the shadow could be a little darker. So you can load your liner brush and just go along the fence and add where you think you need it, like so. Then step back, look at your creation, and pat yourself on the back. Great job. Thank you for joining me today. I enjoyed painting with you today, and I hope you enjoyed it too. To send me photos of your creations, email them to the address in the description. To be notified when there's a new lesson, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and hit like. Please join me next time when we'll paint a colorful wood duck. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.